What's up guys, it's me Daniel back with another video. Ports have always been a popular thing with gamers. In fact, both Nintendo and PlayStation have ported so many of their classic games to modern consoles, there's almost practically nothing left to port. However, there are some games that I would particularly like to see get ported. So without further ado, here's my top 10 list of games that I would like to see get ported to other consoles. Number 10 on my list is Uncharted Golden Abyss. This game was exclusive to the PlayStation Vita, which is why the game wasn't nearly as popular as the other games. The thing is, there's really nothing wrong with this game. In fact, while I was researching for this video, I found out that Uncharted Golden Abyss is actually the highest selling game on the Vita, which I was actually surprised about. But since this game is so popular, it only makes perfect sense to consider porting it to the PS5. The game looks absolutely beautiful on the Vita, so it'll definitely look even better on the PlayStation 5. Number 9 on my list is The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. With so many people wanting to see a port of this game, it would almost be crazy for Nintendo not to do it. However, I don't see a reason that they should remake this game from the ground up. The 3DS version can easily be upgraded in HD, and it would look just as good as a remake. So there's really no reason to remake the game again from the ground up. It just wouldn't be necessary. Number 8 on my list is The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. I already played this game on the Wii U, but I never really got around to completing the game. Plus when the Switch came out, I wound up trading in my Wii U, plus all of the games that I had on the Wii U. So I would really like to see Wind Waker on the Switch. Or they could at least make a game similar to Wind Waker. I think it's been a long time since they made a game with Toon Link, so I hope they make a new one soon. I have high doubts that they will port Wind Waker to the Switch. The game was originally released on the GameCube back in 2002, and was then re-released on the Wii U in 2013. So I have high doubts that they'll port this game a second time. Number 7 on my list is Need for Speed The Run. This game was originally released in 2011, and is one of the most underrated, underappreciated racing games ever made. Let me explain why. The game's story focuses on a street racer named Jack, who winds up entering a race with up to 150 drivers in a large-scale street race from San Francisco to New York City. Whoever wins the race gets a $25 million cash prize. So the entire game is a race from one side of the country to the other. The big race is obviously split into several levels, of course. By completing each race, you get closer and closer to reaching the finish line at New York City. So by now, I'm sure you can see why I believe this game is underrated. I definitely think a port would be a fantastic idea. Or they could at least consider a possible sequel. Number 6 on my list is Detective Pikachu. This is one of the most unique Pokemon games ever made. I've never actually played this game before though. I just don't want to buy it on the 3DS because I feel like this game will eventually get a port. There's no doubt that Detective Pikachu would have been way more successful on the Switch. The 3DS is definitely on the end of its life cycle at this point, and I feel like a lot of people wouldn't want to play the game because it's not on the Switch. So Nintendo would have to be crazy not to give this game a port. If they do decide to re-release it to the Switch, I guarantee they'll at least sell 10 million copies within a month. Number 5 on my list is all of the Tack and the Power of Choo Choo games. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Why put Tack in fifth place compared to Detective Pikachu? Well, first of all, I've never played Detective Pikachu, and second of all, I really think there aren't enough unique ideas for ports. I admit a Detective Pikachu port would make a lot more sense, because Pokemon is way more successful, but Tack was also a successful game franchise at the time. I've only played the first Tack in the Power of Choo Choo game, and I'd really like to play the other two. I just really think it's sad that 3D platformers are dying out, and if they could at least port some classic games like Tack, then maybe platform games will eventually make a comeback. Number 4 on my list is Sonic Unleashed. This game didn't receive much praise because of Sonic the Werehog, but when you play the game as Sonic, it is way better. I really feel like this game isn't that bad. It's got a lot of flaws, but it can easily be tweaked. I know most people would probably prefer Sonic Generations to get ported instead, but that game is still brand new. There's not really much to improve on, graphic-wise. And that's why I think a port of Sonic Unleashed would make a lot more sense, at least for now. Number 3 on my list is Alice Madness Returns. This game wasn't very popular, or very well known either, but it is definitely one of the most underrated games on my list. This game is based on the story of Alice in Wonderland, only with a darker tone, making the game very unique and original compared to other versions of the classic fairy tale. The graphics are an absolute masterpiece, and that's really saying a lot for a game that originally came out on the PlayStation 3. And since the graphics are already pretty good, they'll definitely look even better on the PS5. Number 2 on my list is the Ty the Tasmanian Tiger Trilogy. I know they've already re-released the first two games on the eShop, but I really prefer a physical copy of all three games. I've never played the first Thai game, I only played the other two games, so I really hope they'll release the whole trilogy on the Switch eventually. I know this game is a weird choice for second place on my list, but I'm just not that desperate to see Sonic Unleashed or Ocarina of Time getting remastered. I just really feel that Ty the Tasmanian Tiger is very underrated, and I just don't see any point in re-releasing yet another Sonic game for the sake of it. They're always re-releasing the same game mascots, when they should just try something different for a change. And that's why I really think that if you re-release all three games, it'll probably sell really well, because to people who haven't played it before, it's practically a brand new game, so I really think it would make a lot of money. Number one on my list is the Ratchet & Clank Future Trilogy. When these games originally came out, they looked great on the PS3, so why not consider porting them to the PlayStation 5? Insomniac doesn't really know how to make Ratchet & Clank games like they used to, so it makes perfect sense to port at least some of their classic games. Well that's about it for this video, be sure to subscribe, let me know what games you would like to see get ports in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.